Welcome to this two-part video on creating groups and accounts for ANSYS Remote Solve Manager. In this video, I will cover the purpose of RSM accounts and who can create them, creating an RSM admins user group, creating primary and alternate accounts, specifying usernames and passwords, and changing passwords. Prior to configuring RSM, you may want to create an RSM admins group at the system level to allow specific users to perform administrative tasks. Members of the RSM admins group have a number of different privileges. They can specify and modify Solve Manager and Compute Server properties, manage queues, prioritize jobs, delete the jobs of any user, and create accounts for any user. To create an RSM admins group in Windows, I'm going to open up a file explorer, then right-click Computer and select Manage. I'm going to expand Local Users and Groups, then right-click Groups and select New Group. For the group name, I'm going to type RSM Admins and then click Add to start adding members to the group. I can type my username in the object pane, as well as the usernames of any other users that I want to be part of the RSM Admins group. I can then click Check Names to search for the corresponding user accounts in the current domain. Now that I've defined the group, I can click OK to add it to my system. If you need to create an RSM admins group in Linux, contact your system administrator, as this requires root permission. There is an RSM daemon service script available to help you create a local RSM admins group if needed. Continue on to the next segment to see how user accounts are created in RSM. Let's say that my organization has just installed RSM and is in the process of setting it up. Every person who will be working with RSM must have an RSM user account so that they can send jobs from the RSM client machine to a remote Solve Manager machine. When an account is created for a user in RSM, the account password is cached with the RSM Solve Manager. This enables RSM to run jobs on a compute server on behalf of that account. Every user can create an account for him or herself, but I cannot create accounts for other users unless I have administrative privileges. In Windows, this means that I need to be the Windows System Administrator or a part of the RSM Admins group. In Linux, this means that I must be the root user or part of the RSM Admins group. I'm going to go ahead now and define some primary accounts in RSM. A primary account is a main account used to send jobs via RSM to all of the compute servers. This is typically the account used with client applications such as Workbench or EKM. Notice that the message Set Password is displayed on the Solve Manager node. This is something you see when you are first configuring RSM. I'm going to right-click the node and select Set Password. The username field is already filled in with the domain and username that I use to log into the operating system of the client machine. I just need to enter the corresponding password for this account, and then verify it. When I click OK, a new primary account is created. To check this, I'll right-click the node again and select Accounts. Next, because I am a member of the RSM admins group and can create accounts for other users, I'm going to create a primary account for one of the users in my organization, Jay Smith. To do that, I'll click Add Primary Account. In the Username field, I'll type the domain name, which in my case is ANSYS, then backslash Jay Smith. I'll then specify that user's password and verify it. The user, Jay Smith, will now be able to submit jobs via RSM from a client application such as Workbench. Now let's say that I want to submit jobs from my Windows client machine to a remote Linux compute server, but the compute server does not recognize my Windows-based primary account. To send jobs to the Linux compute server, I will need to create an alternate account under the primary account. To do this, I'm going to right-click the primary account and select Add Alternate Account. I can then specify the username and password for the account, then verify the password. When I click OK, the new account is listed in the Alternate Accounts column. I'll select the account, then select the checkboxes of compute servers that I will be sending jobs to using this account. I am now finished setting up accounts, so I can click Done. 
Now if a password ever changes outside of RSM, then the account password stored in RSM must be reset as well. To do this, I'll right-click and select Change Password. I'll enter the new password and verify it. When I click OK, the new password will be cached with the Solve Manager, and I can resume running jobs using that account. Note that I can change the password for an alternate account in the same way. This concludes the video on creating groups and accounts for RSM.